everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is jenna and i have so much to get done today you guys my lanta i am so behind on laundry i have two loads of the kids to fold i am doing towels i got two loads of towels got a load of towels to fold i've got three loads of zach and i's laundry to fold we've been just picking out out of baskets i am the worst when it comes to clean laundry i need to fold it put it away we were so busy over the weekend with mother's day weekend and rocky don't chew on my tripod oh, and just puppy life playing with the kids everything we have just been so busy and so that's why i just haven't gotten to it but i need to get to it today today is accomplishing all of the things and then yesterday i went to the doctor which i'll be sharing with you guys how that went um it was very mind opening i got some answers some not all rocky come here look at this big puppy say hi i'm getting so big aren't you rocky yeah you just like to cuddle look at him he is huge look at him so we got rocky friday the third we weighed him <laughs> saturday the fourth and he was 11 pounds we weighed him this last saturday the day before mother's day and he was 16 pounds so he gained five pounds in a week they say that's fairly normal for bernice mountain dogs no bite they say that's pretty normal that they gain anywhere from four to six pounds a week um so he is growing like a weed he is growing so fast it is crazy so we'll just keep you updated make sure you guys follow his instagram at rocky underscore the burner huh say follow me on instagram ah. <laughs> today's video is sponsored by ella gear so thank you so much ella gear for sponsoring today's video you guys know that we love our cooling blankets in this house and i am so excited to be sharing ella gear's arc chill cooling blanket this blanket is perfect for my daughter savannah because she absolutely loves unicorns and horses she has been wanting her own cooling blanket for the longest time she keeps trying to steal my husband and i's and so this blanket is absolutely perfect for her she is a warm sleeper as well as my husband is and so this is absolutely perfect make sure you guys go check out the link in the description box to go get a cooling blanket for yourself or your child All right, let's do a little health update because my stomach is starting to hurt. Uh, I went to the doctor yesterday and my stomach was just really hurting. Like I said, every morning it hurts from 9 to 9.30 in the morning until noon. And it just, it always hurts above my belly button right in the middle there. So I went to the doctor and told them all about my pain. Uh, they asked about my diet. They asked a whole bunch of different questions and so i kind of explained what's going on she said it looks like you have gastritis i don't think it's anything because it's not on the sides of the pain isn't like on my left or right side and so what it is it's i don't explain it very well it's something with the acid in your body and so like it's too much acid and then when i eat in the morning it just messes it up and so it's, it, it's bad he is teething so bad he will be four months old in a couple days and he already has two teeth that are poked through already at the bottom which is so crazy um that's a little sidetrack huh yeah getting so big she said i have gastritis so okay 
And as she was talking, you know, I'm going to get on this medication I'm going to be taking every morning, 20 minutes before I eat. Uh, I was like, oh crap. I said, you know, I, with all four pregnancies, throw up every single day until the kids are born. And then sometimes it's multiple times throughout the day, like the first 20, 25-ish weeks. It depends on each pregnancy. And she said, oh, you definitely have esophagitis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you definitely have that because of the constant throwing up back and forth. And then I also mentioned... The last two pregnancies I was on a prescription medication for my I had really really bad heartburn and it was something else like it it was just so bad and so I had to take medication for that I also was on Pepsid Tums like I was on so many medications when I was pregnant because I was just I, I was so sick and it was just so bad and so I told her that she said before I said this information she was gonna give me a referral to a GI doctor and then she said you definitely need to go to the GI doctor you need to go to this referral when they call you she said they're gonna to want to do a scope down there to kind of like see what's going on and then I could also have a stomach ulcer I don't know um, she didn't say it was anything else with what else like it's not my core like I thought it was because it's in the same spot every day when it makes sense it would be hurting more than just that time in the morning huh say it would be more times of the day huh more times of the day but this morning was the first time taking my medication she said it would take a couple of days um, I'm still having a lot of pain in my stomach and I'm actually having a little bit on my right side just a little bit and she said you know like your right side like that is your gallbladder um, my mom was worried about it being like a hernia or something she said it's not that I don't have the symptoms for that because it's only like during the time but ah, oh, that stomach pain you guys it just it hurts so what hey there we go it just hurts so bad oh my gosh my stomach is just killing me and it's always in the morning and i have so much i need to get done because maverick may or may not have a game tonight this is his last week for games uh but it's supposed to rain so it might get canceled but i don't want to not do laundry on oh you know it might get canceled it might not you know what i mean like i just i want to get it done but my stomach oh Stomach hurts. Oh, I want this medication to work. Uh, uh, uh. Every night I'm going on the grid, texting back. I want you, hit you up. I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came me way too strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you But I need you and you're off my radar now I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets. It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no zipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless Can't get enough I've lost you But I need you And you're off my radar now I've lost you Okay, I got all of the kids' laundry folded. Now I just need to put it away. This is two loads. Two loads right here. Folded. Just need to be put away. That was a lot of laundry. I am so glad that I finished folding the kids' laundry because it was so much, you guys. Oh my gosh. I just had to rerun 
the dryer for the towels. I always have to run it two or three times. And I vacuumed out my lint area. Zach needs to do like go outside and kind of go in that lint trap and clean it all out through there. Rocky, no. And see if that helps. Oh my gosh, life with a puppy, baby, and toddler never ending. Navy's going to be going down for a nap here shortly and I'm going to be nursing Xavier and then I'm going to work out, do some more laundry. I need to get dinner started in the crock pot but I feel like it's already too late and it's not going to cook so I don't think I'm going to. I should have done it earlier but I was just too busy with laundry and the chaos and I'm trying to find Xavier's teether. We cannot find it and it's this new teether that we just got him and he absolutely loves it and I need to find it. I can't find it. I've looked everywhere. I'm gonna look everywhere upstairs again and see and yeah, hopefully I can find it. Rocky just ate again. This puppy, he loves to eat. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts I'm like an outcast from pillar to post Hitting you up but I'm stuck on hold It's really a bad reception out there Where you headed? Okay, I just finished working out and I showered My hair is still, you know a mess This isn't, you know, cute and curly, whatever anymore Xavier's on and off napping Uh, Navy's napping Maverick is playing and I'm going to put a little bit of laundry away while I can. Um, I've got a little bit of time and then I gotta let the puppy out again and get dinner started. Um, Maverick's game has not been canceled yet. There's no rain. I feel like it's going to or it's gonna rain <laughs> right before we get there. Oh, Landa. I could just see that happening. But I need to get some laundry done because there's so much in our bedroom let me show you look at all of this laundry this is three loads overfilling these two baskets and i seriously need to fold and put it all away Well, Maverick's game got canceled, so that takes a lot of pressure off. Uh, I was gonna have to have snacks and stuff, and we were literally gonna have to leave 10 minutes after um, Savannah got, on the bus, uh, got off the bus. So, uh, we'll see if there's a makeup game or not, and kind of go from there. The kids have games tomorrow night and Thursday, and it depends on weather. you guys that is going to be it for today's video i'm exhausted we had dinner maverick's game was canceled and so we all ate dinner the kids cleaned up their bedrooms and we had family game night where we played uno attack and then we watched a little bit of a movie we watched tarzan to kind of like rewind and just you know relax a little bit came upstairs doing bath and bedtime and yeah i'm exhausted but i really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys would like to see more. And thank you so much, Ella Gear, for sponsoring today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.